Hello and welcome to Moody Moon Energy Report. Today I want to talk about the Taurian full moon and partial lunar eclipse. If you want to watch this event, this partial eclipse will be visible in the U.S. starting at 12.58 a.m. for Pacific Standard Time, 1.58 a.m. for Mountain Standard Time, 2.58 for Central Standard Time, and at 3.58 a.m. for Eastern Standard Time. Now, let's talk about eclipses. They are high energy portals, and these portals elicit transformation while the full moon energy eliminates and sheds light on insecurities and old karmic patterns that are no longer a vibrational match with your current path. Since this full moon is in Taurus moon energy, we can be a bit stubborn with compartmentalizing what we want to let go and get stuck in our leisurely expectations. And along with all of this eclipse and full moon energy, you are also treading water on the emotional forefront because Venus, which is the planet of feminine energy, the ruler of Taurus and Libra, is in retrograde. And Venus is the planet of pleasure and about who, when, why, what we place our value in. So the Venus being in retrograde uh, brings up issues with your money and love in relationships. These flare up because it's time for you to release all of these things that just are no longer serving you on your path. They are no longer a vibrational match to you and your life. This is the time of the year, of the end of the year, when we reflect back at our past and we're thinking of memories of people and events that are needing closure. Closure in these high energy portals feel like you are mourning. Take this as your opportunity to let go and move forward because life will always move on. So as you are transmuting and healing, see yourself in a loving and appreciative moonlight. You have fought the fight and come this far to give up? No. No, Taurus. <laughs> Take this time to finally organize what you kept during the spring cleaning of the last few full moons and evaluate every idea, every situation, and every person to see and feel if they fit into life purpose and current path that you were on. This is where you take charge of your life, life and strengthen your foundation as you illuminate, eliminate what no longer serves you while leaving room for pleasure and self-care. Well, all right, here it is. So thank you for listening. Like and subscribe on whatever platform you are hearing me on and have a good week. If you have any questions, please feel free to make a comment or reach me at our website at twinflamemystique1111.com. Have a good week.